So this video, I'm just gonna show how I set up templates. So first off, the first track that I have here, so I press shift and then here is type. Now I change the type to NLR because I actually have an audio cable that goes in stereo into the one jack. So that's just how I have it set up for the line-in. Now I have a lot of stuff going into the line-in. I'm using my MX-1, which is over here. Uh, it's a great mixer. So I have this routed out and all this is going through my Octatrack, which then goes to the Deluge. Uh, what this does is it actually lets me siphon in any sounds that I want from any of my synths and from my boss RC-505. Now once that's in here, it will play back. Uh, and what I did was I set it to C3. Now C3 is just a line through. If you make it higher or lower, you'll, you'll hear, hear different, different pitches. pitches. Higher and lower. You can do whatever you want, pretty much. But yeah, so I'm leaving it at C3 just so that it's set for that. Now that's all set. Now, what were all the other tracks that I had? Well, it's pretty simple. So let's just say I have all of my synths set up, okay? So I want, let's say, MIDI. So I have MIDI and different channels. So for example, I have MIDI channel one, and that's routed out. It's routed out through my MIDI router, which routes that signal and channel over to my Novation Circuit Synth 1. So if I play these notes, you can hear it actually. So what I have to do actually, let's say I want to play from the circuit itself into the Deluge. So if I go over here, it plays, but it's not gonna record. So if I press record here and I put in some notes, it shows it and it plays it back. That's fine. So I'm gonna clear this. Now, what I wanna do is get the circuit to actually insert input notes into here. So if I go over to the circuit right now and I just play some notes, that is not recorded on here, as you can see. So what you have to do is hold down learn Press any of these audition pads and it's gonna blink. Now after it blinks, you go over here and just press that. So after I pressed out the note, it's gonna be blinking white and you just let go. What that means is it's learned. So in other words, it's on record now. So now we're recording and I'm gonna play from over here. And now you can hear it, it's actually playing it. So there's the notes. So that's all I've done and I have that, you know, set to all my different synths. And I have learned each one of those synths in the same way that you just saw. So all you would see here would be just more tracks. Uh, what I did from there, uh, I copied first off the line in. So if I keep copying this upwards like this, it's going to make it easy for me to switch from, see the blue here, we're just gonna go to the pink track, so we press that, and now it'll easily go to the pink track. Whatever track you want, it'll just uh, go to the next one. Now there's 12 different section colors, so what I, what I did in this situation, so let's say we just have this one synth, I would just hold that down and copy it down. Now that copies everything, so if we you can switch it this way by pressing that, or by pressing the one up here. That's all I would be doing, so I'm just copying it down, and now you can easily switch between any section of that synth. So literally, what I was showing you before when I load my other track here. So when I load this up, you see the line in, and then there's some drum tracks here, and then the rest are just synths, and all these just go to different synthesizers that I have set up. And then if I wanna easily switch, I can just scroll up, and it's going to wait to the end, and then switch to the new one. Uh, and I and it took a while for me to copy all these tracks out, but it was worth it for me in the long run. Now, if we had some way of making each MIDI channel to be recognized and to save it into its default memory of what channel I had learned in, I probably wouldn't need something like this. I'd be able to start from scratch and then just choose whatever MIDI channel and just go from there. Um, but for now, uh, this works and I'm pretty happy with this workflow. So if you wanna make your own template, it's up to you. It's whatever you wanna do. Uh, when you're done with everything, you just press save and then you just choose where you want it to go, which number you want, and then press save again. And then it will save your template and you can load it up every time you load your deluge. 
Also, if you don't want to save, you made a mistake, press back and back you go. This setup could be kind of complicated if you're working with a lot of synthesizers or a lot of different tracks, um, but I mean, minimalism is the best. For me, I have so many synths that I really love using and to have it on standby any time that I want and just play on that synth and then it gets recorded in without having to set up anything, uh, it's well, well worth the time and effort. It probably took about 20 minutes for me to set this whole thing up. Um, so you, the thing is you just wanna make sure when you are working in this method that, uh, that you have everything set up the way that you want before you start copying over the colors because if you make one change of something that you want to be applied to all the other colors, it might take you quite a long time to make all those changes.